Messiah Giovanni. My grandfather was a great man, good heart, well respected, and a boss. My grandfather built an empire that nobody could fuck with, the Giovanni Empire. Members only, legal and illegal family business, sponsored by a secret brotherhood. My grandfather would always say, stay three steps ahead of the game, because one day, there will be a blackout. Frank Muller, the governor of Gangster City, plugged in with the elites and best friends to my father. Word on the streets, the country is at war. The dollar is losing its value, and a lot of gangsters and celebrities are under investigation. The feds are watching. And the world is slowly changing. There has been proven evidence of other life in outer places on this flat earth. Black people are rising back in power. And those who have been pulling the strings and running this wicked system are finally being exposed. The Giovanni business makes money, provides money and print money. Our empire consists of many businesses from real estate, clothing stores, hair salons, entertainment studios, warehouse workers, storage units, law firms. Man, my father Malachi Giovanni was even selling dope out the church, running numbers in the basement. I mean, the police, judges, the military, even the governor, all on our payroll. Christmas Eve. I gave the order to my cousin Nino to pay a couple of our ops a visit. Paco Dunlevy an Italian mobster who refused to pay his debt to my father. We blew his house up. And then there was Georgie Matula. We blew up his car for standing up my father at a very important meeting. My point is, we don't play about my father or family business. Ah, uh, Nino, tell me something good. That nigga Paco, he's swimming with the Gators. And that nigga Georgie Matula, Blew his shit up. Good job, me cousin. You looking at Mr. Robert Giovanni himself, aka Sugar Bell. Sugar Bell, my favorite uncle. That's my daddy's little brother. The smartest in the family. My uncle is a well known, respected attorney in Gangster City. He handles all the legal business when it comes to the Giovanni family. He still be pimping though. The lawyer shit just a front, but I must say, he good at what he do on both ends. Hurry, I K. got you. I got you. And I got you. I understand. Okay. Let's go get the car warm. All right, baby. Okay, now. All right, now.
If it ain't the legendary Sugar Bell, what's up, baby? And you know what it is, indeed. A man of many hats that makes a lot of racks. And those are motherfucking facts, my boy. All right, you remember my main girl, Hurricane, don't you? Yeah, I was looking at I was like, what? Ho, ho, ho. What's up? Stay in your place. Oh, I can't look. Hey. Hey, I ain't mad at you, baby, but I see you still got on the stroll, though. Hey, man, she been around for a long time. I took her from Goldie back in the 70s, <laughs> and she ain't fell off yet. <laughs> <laughs> I do that shit right. Hey, before we go any further, man, let's get back in the car. It's a little cold out here, baby. Hell yeah, yeah, man, but uh, you good, though? Am I good? What you mean? Man, come on, nigga. Don't act like you don't remember that episode for last night where you cannot control your bitches. And that one bitch you had, but she spilled all that damn damn Julio on my uh, damn new suit. Mm. Oh, that shit. Yeah. Man. So, uh, is everything good with Nino? Oh yeah, cuz straight. You know Paco swimming with the gators, man. And mm. that son of a bitch, Georgie Matula, mm. we done sent him a warning shot, so he already know what time it is. Is George Matula still alive? Yeah, man, we just wanted to make him show us a little bit more respect. You know, mm. make sure he could think twice about who he fucking with, you know what I'm saying? Cause you gotta think, man, at the end of the day, so don't nobody stand up to profit, man. That's just something you don't do. Real men stand on business. Exactly. I get it. But you know how the Matula family is, my little fella. What you mean? Man, they always specialize in revenge. <laughs> well, maybe you should tell they punk asses to hurry the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, you know, you got to hurry up because, you know, Harry can't going to leave and go to jail now. Look. You got that. Baby girl, yeah, we're not yeah. going to jail. Why, why Just help me get this me? motherfucker why, why out of here. Why you got that on me? I Just mean, go ahead and crank the car. Now. Let's go, it's baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You see, every time, every time I tell you to do something, you, I am one of your you friends. don't never do that. I should have let you. I bring the money, honey. I should have let Tree take you back. He don't tell you to drive this guy to nail cut. Supposed to be on the way, man. He said he need to holler at me about something. But well, what are you talking about? Shit, bro, though. But you know, once I hear something, I'll keep you posted. I bet you're gonna be about the stuff that I seen on the news. Well, it might be. You ain't heard from Rollo? Man, hell nah, bro. You know how that boy be. That nigga still in his feelings about Pops and Ali. Yeah, you already know how that boy is. Yeah, he need to let that shit go. I'd have told that boy to get out his feelings and get in his bag. I understand that. In the beginning, we, meaning all mankind, existed in our purest state, one with nature, in harmony. Then curiosity crept in. The curiosity of good and evil when everything was perfectly fine and just like everything else in this world, we made a choice. Exit the choice of a true nature of individualism and high vibration and enter a world of industrialism and civilization. From there, lands were conquered, cities were built, kings were crowned, and some people became slaves. I say all this to say, be wise. Never let your ego overpower your heart and always choose wisely in all your endeavors. Indeed, Father. But where is all this coming from? Because it just seemed like there's a hidden message or something. 
What's up, Pops? Frenchy. Alright, bro, I'm about to go. Okay, bro, be careful, man. Nothing is wrong, Cosmo. I will not always be able to carry the weight of this family. As I evolve and rise in power to dimensions beyond this world, the Giovanni Empire is going to need a new leader to lead and to lead by example. Hmm. But Pop, what's going on though, man? Because you only talk like this when there's a problem. Cosmo, there are no coincidences. There's only consequences in prophecy. We're living in a time of war, inflation, and temporary chaos. I will need your help to ensure that the family business and investments are still standing during and after the aftermath that is coming. You will become the prophet. Hmm. Well, you know I'm down, Pops. Whatever you need, man, I got you. I hop out the bed with a blank. The medical food he rents. About to go give me some money. Like it's the first of the month. Started keep calling my line. She be on some other shit. So, come on. What's up, Cosmo? Cool, cool. How the prophet doing? The prophet doing real good. The prophet pleased at your work, though, cuz. Pops was like, hey, we gotta hit cuz off, so. Voila. Why this? Yeah. And there's some extra in there, too, man. Yeah. For my Christmas present to you. All right, I appreciate you and the prophet. You already know, cuz. Oh yeah, have a good Christmas this year. Oh yeah, cuz, I got something for you too. What you got there, wow. Don't open it up. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah. Whoo. Yeah, what you can do with that? You don't stop there, I got something else for you. A word? What you got, you know? What nigga, you don't make grocery shopping? Hell no, nah, nigga, I got bricks. Cuz, boy, you a fool, boy. How the hell you come up with this shit? I know you want me to kill that nigga Paco, but I had to rob him first. Yo, yeah, cuz, I definitely could use these, man. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, you know, I usually give work like this to Renzo. But, uh, I think I'm gonna keep this for myself. See, the thing is, this right here, this is a different kind of free money. But I keep standing on business, cuz. You already know, man. For real, boy. Hey, Lala, what's up? Cosmo. Benny done pistol with me. That nigga did what? He jumped on me and then he left. Man, I'm on the way right now. Motherfucker. Sorry I'm late, man. Come on, brother, tighten up on the time. I got shit to do. Yo, it's my fault, man, I already know. But it's that stupid woman of mine, man. She's always in my goddamn business. Man, what the fuck did I tell you, man? I know, Cosmo, but... But you don't fucking listen, man. Look at your fucking eye, man. Well, I'ma fucking kill that nigga, boy. What's up, bro? Hey, Frenchie, man, you and Benny was pretty close, ain't it? Yeah, Cosmo, that used to be my boy, but not no more. Man, fuck that clown. Nobody about to put their hand on my motherfucking sister. All right, I'm just making sure we're on the same page. So with that being said, find Benny and kill him. Bet. What? For sure, man. You got my money? Of course I got the money, brother. Money always good. Oh, shit. You know, one of the things I like about you, Huey, that your money is always neat, man. Well, see, my brother, cleanliness is next to godliness. I heard that shit. Hey, man, stop letting that bitch stress you, man. That ain't my girl, man. That's my wife, man. Damn, that is right, your wife. Right. I don't see how niggas be getting suckered in such a contract like marriage. What? 
And Frenchie, you you okay with this? Why, why y'all just can't rough him up, beat him up? Like, you don't have to kill him. I still love him. I don't give a fuck. Oh, you do? This nigga done put his hands on you how many times? Man, you done called me, Frenchie, Rollo, I don't know how many times to save your ass. Man, la la, we will no longer spare Mr. Benny, man. This will be the last time he'll insult the Giovanni jeans. Cosmo, if you do this, I will never forgive you. Then so be it. I already done forgave myself. So you might as well go ahead and cry, get it over with. Just pick better next time, little sis. Fuck you, Cosmo. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. I can respect that. That looks something for One more thing, brother. Mm -hmm. Remember this. It's always the one you just love being around the most. Stunt your growth. Don't let him mess up the bag. Mm. I can respect that, bro. I love it. All right, one love, bro. See you, man. speaking badly about Rollo. Cosmo told me some things you said that I do not approve of. Well, what exactly did I say, Malachi, that has you so upset? You need to stop bragging to people about hurting my son's heart. Now, I agree. Rollo's been in his feelings lately ever since we've been engaged. And yes, he needs to step up and accept what is out of his control. But he is still my son. Well, you should tell your son to stop lying on me. I mean, he's the one running around in the street telling everybody I left him for his daddy. No one good and well, me and him was not a couple. But Malachi, I love you and if Silence! You... Ali, I love you as well, but if you speak badly of my son again, I will leave you. Okay. I apologize, Malachi. It will not happen again. <sighs> But baby, I just, you know, I just worry about you so much. And you're so tense. Baby, are you stressing? Stressing? No. Preparing? Yes. Preparing? Preparing for what? Someone will try to kill me soon. What? <laughs> you? No, no, you are Malachi Giovanni, a man of God, a very positive influence in this community. Babe, who would try to kill you? Who would even want to kill you? Unless it's something you're not telling me. Hmm. There's a thin line between love and lust. That's all I'm saying. I don't know, Father Malachi. You've been right about a few things, but I don't know about this one. The stakes are too high. The president has been coming down on us with positions of authority here lately. So what you're asking is a lot to be done. And I'm not sure it can be done. 
You know, my hands are tied. We got to go by the book. Was that hit Frenchie did for you in Vegas? Was it by the book? Better yet, how about when Cosmo saved you from being assassinated when you did that speech down in Greenwood? Was that by the book, Frank? No, it wasn't. We made those things happen for you. Come on, Malachi. Don't do this to me, man. Come on. We are talking about official government business here. There's a lot at stake. Oaths for a bit of knowledge, and that's just a small part of it. And the Giovanni family wants the keys to the city. I know what's coming. And I refuse to lose knowing that our civilization is getting ready to experience a reset. Malachi, do you really think I have the power to do that? Frank, I know you do. You said yourself, you owe me. Hello? Yo, Frenchie, man, what's up? Hey, man, let me guess, you pissed off at me, right? I already know. Nah, bro. Shit, Benny, shit happens. And besides, whatever you and my sister got going on, that's between y'all. I'm used to it now. Hey, yo, Frenchie, you know I love your sister, man, for real. Yo, man, I'm really sorry about what happened, man. Yo, it wasn't me. It was the fucking cult, man. I just want to see if you wanted to hang out. I know it's been a man. Just meet me downtown. Malika, honestly, because you know who you are as a black man. Frank, I appreciate the acknowledgement, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here for power. And I know you have some power because for one, you're the governor. You govern shit. And for two, I know you're kind based off your brotherhood. You know like I know. After this reset, everything is going to return to its origins. I just prefer a head start. Malachi, there are many keys. And you know what? I'm going to tell you what. Okay, I'm going to give you two of those keys. The first one is I'm going to let you and your children and your future children use these Social security cards. They're gonna unlock unlimited finances, unlimited resources, unlimited money for you and your future generations. Don't waste my time. It's valuable just like a diamond, living in peace to free my mind. Go get the money, take care of the family. We came up from nicks and dimes. Back to reality, ain't no fantasy. Blowing this gas to ease my mind. One of a kind, my life. You know, man, sometimes I just sit and think. Why are we really here, man? Benny, what the fuck you talking about, man? Frenchy, man. Like us, men and women. We live up to the government's expectations, man, of life. Like, what is the real purpose of us being on Earth, man? Our purpose on this Earth is to live, learn, and grow. And do whatever the fuck we choose to do. A word? Hmm. I respect that. Benny and Frenchie, they was pretty cool. I know it really hurt Frenchie deep down inside knowing that he had to smoke Benny. But me and him both was tired of Benny's shit. Oh man, goddamn Frenchie. Hey look man, I need to go take a piss man. I'll be right back, I promise you baby. Woo! Second. I wanna give you a future. Gold? Yes, Malachi. Gold. Forget about the dollar bill. This is the future. Free will, free kill. Yo, man, I mean, what you mean by that, baby? My brother Rollo, he been real distant from the family lately. 
but he usually keep in touch with me though. But I haven't heard from him lately. Last time I heard from him, he was talking about he was moving and he sent me his address. He was on my spirit heavy today, so I decided to check in on him. Rollo. Yo, Rollo, where you at? Rollo, god damn, bro. So this is what it's done came down to? You fucking with that dog food now? Don't fucking judge me, bro. Look at my life, man. It's fucked up. Oh, boy. You always gotta be the one vibrating in that negative ass energy, ain't it? I'm trying to figure out how the fuck your life fucked up. I mean, because last time I checked, you had three nice ass calls outside. Not only that, Rollo, you come from a rich family, bro. You don't got no criminal background. How the fuck is this kind of life for you fucked up when you were Giovanni? Help me understand that shit. Am I missing something? Hold up, Cosmo. If you so concerned about my life, then won't you help me out then? Look at this drunk ass nigga. This nigga been living in this new place for two weeks and still ain't unpacked. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, I am. But what the fuck is really going on with you, bro? Man, tell you the truth, I don't know what the fuck's going on with me. Man, I've been stressing, man. Since Benny died, that bitch <laughs> dating my dad. Like, man, let me stop you right there. First and foremost, fuck Benny, all right? That motherfucker had it coming. We warned him several times about putting his hands on our sister. This motherfucker put his hands on your sister, bro. He had to get dealt with. Now, as far as Ali, I don't even know why you still stressing over that bitch. You and her was just good friends, bro. She told you she ain't want nothing more than that. If she like Pops, she like Pops. They engaged now, man. Ain't nothing you can do about that. Let Pops enjoy the little young pussy before he die. I want to shoot Pops. And that bitch, tell you the truth, bro. Listen, Rollo. I understand your frustration and your pain, bro. But like I said, man, that's our pops. You feel me? The shit between you and daddy gotta stop, man. And, it, and it's really mostly on you because you're the only one that's really holding grudges, bro. You be all isolated and shit. Don't want to come to none of the family functions. Daddy ain't even mad at you. He still speak highly of you, you feel what I'm saying? And anytime Ali talk crazy about you around him, he check that bitch. So, I mean, you really need to think about the negative energy that you bring into the family, bro, because everybody worried about you, but ain't nobody fit to kiss your ass. As long as you come around, Cosmo, it's all good. I ain't got to come to none of the family functions. I wouldn't be your brother, and I wouldn't be true if I, if I went real with you and didn't tell you that you sound real better and real pussy will. But I understand you, bro. You know what? Hell, yeah, man. Take a vacation, bro. Clean yourself up, man. Maybe that'll help you get your mind off of Ali. And you can find something that's really made for you that's a perfect match, you feel me? But in the meantime, just make sure you answer your phone because there's a new order, and you need to know what's going on, bro. All right? All right. I keep you posted on everything. All right, man. You're making me happy.
So, you saw the entire house, inside out, and the Giovannis, we're willing to uh, negotiate prices with you based on the information that you done gave us. Okay. So, out of the three homes that you showed me today, this house, it has the best energy. Like, I love this house. Okay. I gotta have it. That's what I'm talking about. Claim it. And Miss Gina, it could be yours. You, your husband, and your kids, y'all can start fresh. Oh, no, no husband. <laughs> you know, trust me. If I had a husband, you would be talking to him and not me. Oh, I see. My bad, Miss Gina. Hey, you got a beautiful smile, though. Thank you. <laughs> Already. So you got any kids? Oh no, no kids. Um, maybe someday when God sends the right man. How would you know? Know what? That God has sent the right man? Yeah. Well, because the right man would want to marry me and not just fuck. Mr. Giovanni, a wife does not find a husband. A man that finds a wife finds a good thing. I'll call you in a couple of days. Don't sell this house. <laughs> I got you. You have a good one. All right, you too. When I touch down in your city, just know I'm the main attraction. Fuck niggas hating on me, bad bitches looking at me. Do I live what I be talking? You ain't even gotta ask me. I get ghosts on the hoe. No, I'm not your baby dad. Smoking pot on the yacht, on the ocean, no relation. Rich Risings, my sons. Grand Rising Pop. Grand Rising Pops. I could have invited everybody to this meeting, but everything isn't always for everyone. What I'm about to tell you is big business. The world is changing, and the Giovanni family is going to partake in some of those changes. We will no longer be known as the Giovanni Empire. We are now the Giovanni Elite. Here. What are these, Pops? Eternal revenue. Eternal revenue? Yeah, bro. You know, like everlasting money that don't never run out. Cosmo will now become the prophet. Frenchy, you will be head of all operations. You will answer to no one but Cosmo. Understood. So if Cosmo the prophet, then what's your position, Pops? I am divine order which is why I changed up the nature of the business due to man's behavior going forward. So, what about Rollo and Lala? Man, you know Rollo a goddamn junkie. And Lala, she got other stuff going on. Yeah, she be giving niggas all her money. <laughs> Rollo is still mad at me about Ali, but I've already spoken to Lala. Even though they're my children, they can't be trusted. Lala is too gullible. And Rollo's never been good with money. They will need supervision. You got it, Pops. Cosmo, have you had a chance to deliver my message to Nina? Oh yeah, Pop. He should be pulling up on you real soon. I'll definitely keep you posted. Oh, and there's one more thing. Here. A brick of gold? Oh yeah, they're worth 10 million each. Wanna have a lifetime of money. Man, Santana, I know you ain't still crying. What's the problem? Do you not see? Wake up, Nino. Your lifestyle's a problem. You mean the lifestyle that's allowing you not to work anymore? You mean the lifestyle that buys you everything, take you on all kinds of trips? You help me understand. I'm confused. Nino, you rob and kill people. I'm tired of this shit. I was robbing and killing people when you met. That's what I do. I spill blood for the Giovanni family. How dare you speak on family business? No, you promised me that you would stop killing people two years ago when we got married. It's been two years, Nino. You got me deeper into this shit. 
Nino. This is what? A big play on me. Who is it? Oh, come on in, come. Cause old, you know, going on cause hey. But shit, cuz you good, boy? Oh yeah, man, they with this bitch, man. Well, y'all motherfuckers stay arguing, boy. Man, shit. You wanna drink? Yeah, man, what you got? Yeah. I got this brown bitch getting on my nerve. Verse. Yo, man, you know all these bitches is, man. Bitch got on my nerve from bad goddamn time. Appreciate that, bro. Oh, yeah, fam. Boy, you know I'm a brown man. But that shit all right. But listen, man. I can't even talk to you because the prophet done put a new order in place. Right. Look at me like this. Hey, Cosmo. What's up, Santana? Nino. I want a divorce. I'm leaving your stupid ass, so enjoy your pathetic life without me. Au revoir, motherfucker. Piece of shit. <laughs> Where the fuck that hoe? She'll be back. Nino, Nino, Nino. Well, how many times I got to tell you, cub? But you know you slipping, right? Boy, I told you that one day Santana will leave your ass. You got to understand something, Kitty. These women want the jewelry, the clothes, the money, the cars, the nice houses, the trips. God damn, she done came back. <laughs> anyway. They be wanting all this shit from a man that gotta spend a whole lot of time away from home to achieve such lifestyle. Just to one day feel bored, get curious and shit. Basically what I'm saying cuz is a woman to sacrifice a good thing to go fuck with a nigga who ain't got no business about himself and to go out his way to put a woman before his purpose. Now you know that ain't no motherfucking Giovanni. Man, fuck that. That bitch used me, cuz. I was a come up. That's all. But Nino, you gotta look on the bright side, cuz. You still win, though. It's always better to be useful than useless. You gotta think at the end of the day, you still tattooed all over her DNA, man. She ain't gonna forget you. But on to better news, though. So, you know, uh, the prophet is trying to arrange a one on one with you real soon. What up, did something wrong or something? I don't know, hey. I just know my proper have a one on one with your serious business. Yeah, but you found me, cuz. You'll be alright. I think he just want to talk to you about your position. Oh, okay. It's gonna be a whole lot of changes taking place soon, so just be prepared. I've been having big walk, I just hit a jackpot. Damn. I make it flip like I work at the aisle. I've been counting those non-stop. Whoa. They wish they can get what I got. Nigga win laser day on my block. Catch a play, no drop, y'all fool, mother forgot. Rolling like a big shot. Guys, you got some. Nice stuff up in here, man. Oh yeah, you know we keep the hottest shit. You know Lala, she got to connect and the plug to all the new shit. So, what's this news I've been hearing about? Well, Antonio, the profit is shutting down all illegal operations, including y'all business. This means no more selling dope. No more selling fed and all. No more selling marijuana. You gotta stop the prostitution and the gambling. It just is what it is, that's the order. So how the fuck is we supposed to eat? Just calm down. Calm down, Tony O man. Here's the deal. Basically the lower elite will now have to join the higher elite. Basically the legal shit. Y'all gonna have to tap into some of the restaurants we got, uh, the real estate business, church commission, hair salons, the barbershops, you know, all the good shit, man. And there's plenty of money for everybody to make, so it shouldn't be no problem for none of y'all to switch the hustle up. What? That's like a cop doing office work. I ain't no house, nigga. I'm a field, nigga. Well, do your legal shit and get it out the field, nigga. Damn, cuz, listen, man, I fear you. But the part that you're not understanding 
is these are orders that's coming directly from the source, from the prophet himself. And you know, just like I know, we don't outshine the master. Master? I ain't got no motherfucking master. I'm my own man. Do my own shit. That's y'all niggas' problem right there. Niggas don't know how to follow suit. But that's why I told Pops a long time ago to just kill the illegal shit all together. Cause y'all niggas done got too immune to that shit. But I tell you what, I mean, you laughing, but cause if you want to keep jugging, go ahead. Just know it come with consequences. Man, fuck all that shit, Cosmo, man. All right. You gonna see. Yo. Two guns. Yo. What's up, cuz? What's up, cuz? What you got going on, man? You good? Oh, it's gravy, baby. What you got for me, man? Man, I need for you and the guys to get your hands clean, man. Yeah, Father Prophet has just announced a new order. And that new order states that no member of the Giovanni family will no longer participate in any illegal endeavors. Cosmo, what you telling me, bruh? Man, you know exactly what I'm saying. Hell no, that ain't good for business. How me and the fam gonna eat? We had a deal. And a deal is a deal. Cuz, just relax, man. And just focus more on selling suits and ties. My pops, he don't want nothing illegal being done by the Giovanni family. Everything has to be legal now. Like, I don't think y'all understand how much the president and the governor are cracking down on black collar operations at this very moment. It's the only way that the Giovanni empire will still be in business after this blackout. That's some straight up bullshit. Now you know, Tonio and Renzo, they ain't going for this. Cosmo, you gotta do something about it, G. Then you need to let them know that this has nothing to do with happiness. It's business. And if they wanna stay in business, then they need to follow the new order. Yeah. All right, man, we'll holler. Shit, nigga, don't get mad at me, nigga. You getting that paper? Hey, man. Man, you heard what that damn Cosmo talking about? What? You heard what Cosmo talking about? Shit, that nigga said. Everything got to be legal now. Everything got to be legal? Everything, G. The pawn shop, the beauty salon. Everything. The church money? Man, look. Yeah, he tripping, man. He tripping? What are they tripping about? look, come on back here, dog. All right. All right, bet it See up. See my name on uh poster I got, that mannequin, boy. You look like you're doing good for yourself, boy. You know, just a little lounge here, man. Like a little too. comfy thing, too, boy. I like this. Yeah. Leather? Kick your feet up. Nice, I can kick my feet up. Yeah, you kick your feet up, Jay. Ain't no latch on those motherfuckers now. What's latch. going on? Oh, snap. Latch. Oh. Ain't no Do latch. what we doing. Do we, we doing. Oh, we can go. Oh, okay. Okay. That's how we doing, Jay. I'm get back so I can get back to waist high. Get down to business. So, we got to make everything illegal now, right? What? What is who say Malachi gotta know? Bruh, Malachi gonna know. Man. Guess what else? This nigga just made Frenchie head of operations. What? That cupcake ass nigga? Man, he my cousin, uh, but I don't like that nigga, cuz. I don't like that nigga. Yeah, bruh, I already know. But guess what? I ain't telling Antonio. You got to tell that nigga. What, you scared of that nigga or something? Hell nah, but that nigga like to pop off at the mouth. And I ain't trying to hear none of that shit, bro. Cause I know me. 
this shit don't sit well with me. And he don't pop off like that with you, so. Yeah, that nigga know better. Why you doing that? Until I talk to that nigga, I ain't stopping shit. Matter of fact, I got a jug I got to go make right now, G. I need all my money. It's the first of the month. And I got shit to do. But I tell him, though, I, I, I really need to talk to Cosmo in the meantime. I need to find out some more details about this shit, about this situation. Details, and I mean all the damn details. I got you. Nigga, what? Nigga, stop all that motherfucking crying out. Wipe your motherfucking nose. Don't you supposed to be a soldier? Look, I'm gonna give you two options. You got 48 hours to either get me my motherfucking money or it's gonna be a whole lot of mess. That mean your mama gonna be wearing a black dress. It's gonna be a whole bunch of flower bringing and funeral singing, nigga. And I ain't playing with you. I promise you that. Because I hear you playing with these hoes. Well, we gonna put that tag on your toes. And that's for real, nigga. You need to holler at me or get hollered at. Period. Fuck wrong this nigga, man. Nigga, I'll kill you, nigga. Yo, yo. Motherfucking Renzo with the Benzo. What's up, me cousin? How you been, man? Shit, better than ever. You know, love and life is great. Facts. So, you been keeping the gang up on their toes lately? Shit, you know what I do, man. You know, I'm getting me. Just straight hustling, pimping. That's what I want to talk to you about. What's up? What happened, Cosmo? Well, even though the order comes from my father, it didn't originally come from him. It originally came from Frank Mueller, the governor. See, the president, he done enforced all these new laws that's going to put a stain on the Giovanni family reputation if we continue to participate in illegal activities. I mean, at the end of the day, cuz, the world is changing, Renzo. So we got to change with it. But the good thing is, everybody, and when I say everybody, I mean the whole family, we're gonna be well taken care of. So this pandemic that they talking about, if a pandemic do take place, we are gonna be straight. Before the pandemic, during the pandemic, after that motherfucker. I'm letting you know right now. What's up? Tony ain't feeling it. He want to continue doing what he been doing. But if that nigga want to go against the grain, so be it. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you continue to buy supply, the nigga going to die. Even if I got to kill him my motherfucking self. Shit, I feel you, cuz. You know, I'm riding with you. No matter what. Mm -hmm. What's up, Tonio? What's up, baby? Nigga, don't what's up, baby me. Damn, your period must be on the song. What the fuck ever? Anyway, check this out. Malachi already know what's coming to him. He just don't know who it's coming from. Yeah, that's how my uncle raised us. He always said life is just a ride. All right, now that you done reminiscing about your uncle, what are we gonna do? What's going on? What's the deal, man? Cause you already know how I'm coming. Especially when it involves some money. I'm gonna send him some bullets that his body can't refuse. But in the meantime, here, I'm gonna send you the rest when the mission is complete. Oh, I already know, trust me. And this shit better be here, all of it. So the president found out about Frank Mueller giving my pops access to government information. And he was also demoted for releasing unauthorized funding. He now faces a major penalty. 
They say he under 24 hour surveillance at all time at the White House now. That shit crazy. I got some very disturbing news. What's up, Sugar Bell, man? Tell me what's going on. They found Rollo dead this morning around 9.30. What? The Who did this? Word on the street, it was the Don Levy family. Seeking revenge for the murder of Paco Don Levy. Motherfucker. Yeah. Man, we gotta get Francisco on the phone ASAP. Set up a meeting. Say less. Oh, and another thing. What's up, Sugar Bell? Gina Valentine? Yeah. Ain't who she say she is. Say what? Leslie Matula. Wanted for two counts of murder and home invasion. This bitch trying to set me up. Santana's brother, Rico Morocco, he come in town every once in a while. He play pro ball for the Lakers, which is the reason Santana talking to him now, cause she needs some damn money. So what's been up, little sis? Last time I was in town, you was smiling here to now you look like you don't lost your best friend. <laughs> it's a lot, Rico. I, I thought I was happy, but I just gotta do that healing journey myself. Well, why you say that? Because I'm divorcing Nino's ass. I, I, I'm leaving his ass. You know he crazy. Why, what happened? The motherfucker gonna put his hand on you? <laughs> no, nothing like that. Santana, don't fucking lie to me, man. So no. why you leaving him there? <laughs> nah, it, it, it's not that. It's, it's all that gangster shit. Like, I'm tired of it. I don't want to raise my kids up in that type of environment. It's gonna be a shootout every other day. Fuck. I'm sick of it. I feel you. So what you need? Well, <laughs> I need a little bit of bread, just so I can stay on my feet for a bit. You know I hate asking. All right, I got you. So where you staying at? I'm staying at Contessa's house. I try not to stay in one place too long, in case Nino's trying to find me. I'm talking about Contessa with dude. Yeah, Contessa with the I remember her. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Come on, man. You know big bro got you forever. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Look, I know I haven't said it in a while, but I'm very proud of you. Like, you over here playing pro ball and shit. Like, you getting your yeah, life yeah, right. Man, you, know, you deserve everything yeah. that's coming to you. Everything. Nah, I appreciate for this. It's for real, man. Hey, let's go eat. All right, what we eating? Are you right? I got it, man. Come on. Hi, hotties. It's your girl Cleo Martinez here for News Channel 9. We just got the word in that Prophet Malachi Giovanni has been shot. That's right. After the beautiful sermon in Anderson, South Carolina, he was gunned down. Now, there is no leads and no suspects, but we do ask that you guys, the viewers, please keep the Giovanni family in prayer. This is Cleo Martinez. Back to you. Yeah, that was good. It's a wrap. Shit, let's get the fuck out of here. They're shooting at Robin. Damn. Yo. What? Fuck! Hello? Oh, for real. 
I need to talk to you. Please tell me who are available. I need to come see you. Yes. Cosmo, calm down. Is everything okay? No. My father is dead. But I think I know who did it. Oh, no. Malachi? Cosmo, I am so sorry. Yes, come see me as soon as possible. I'm at the restaurant. I'm on the way. So, Maria, there has been a new order, as you know. And um, before I start off, I just want to say that the Giovanni family appreciates your teamwork and your consistency. So I have a request. Ali Hollywood, you familiar with her, right? See, si, of course I am. Well, she killed my father. And you know, in my family, the ladies are nurturers. They not warriors. And see, your empire is built of nothing but some of the best assassins that I know of. What do you need, Bobby? Miss Betty. I need for her to go ahead and lay that sniper game down on Ali ASAP. <laughs> you know how to pick your women. But you know my girl Betty's gonna get it done. A few months ago, before Malachi was killed, he asked me for a similar favor. Mm. And in return, consider it done. I appreciate that, Maria. No problem. As soon as Miss Betty gets back, I put the word out. I drank to that. Are you old enough, girl? Trying to hold up, Nino. I just don't understand why we keep losing Jews in the city, you feel me? Especially Pops. I know, right? Plus, Unc was a great man. But you know if you need me, I got you, right? I already know, cuz. But you know, cuz. Hold up, cuz. Well, I know that ain't Santana. Soon as I seen my cousin, you know, walk his ass over there, I knew it was trouble. Bitch! Fuck you doing him? Nino, leave me the fuck alone. You're drunk and that shit stink. Bitch, what? You disrespect me and my uncle funeral? No. Are you delusional or something? I'm leaving you. I'm divorcing your stupid ass. I'm gonna get rid of your name and I'm gonna give this pretty pink pussy to somebody else. So you fucking another nigga already? Yes, the fuck I am. Between family, deceit, betrayal. Man, this ain't the way this shit's supposed to be going, bro. You head of operations, right? I am. Then why the fuck is everybody operating outside of your orders? Like, bro, you ain't even have security on Pops or Rallo. Bro, man, I'm talking 24 hours, 365 security. And I'm still tripping out how the fuck we let Nino get that close to Santana to kill her at Pops' funeral, bro. Man, they done got him now. He arrested. I know he and that motherfucker talking. You really think he talking? I don't know. To be real with you, bro, I don't put nothing past nobody these days. Fuck all that. We need to be focused on killing two guns and Antonio. Hmm. Yeah, but they family. Family? Yeah, family. Fuck that. We need to ride on them niggas now. Nah. Nah, man, too soon. And we will, though. But not like this. You feel me? We got to plan, plot, and strategize, bro. We need to find out where Ali at. Yeah, I've been asking if anybody's seen him. Shit, Renzo said he's seen her pull up to the funeral. But then he said the bitch turned around and love. I know that bitch know something. Oh, yeah. Yo, Cosmo, this Tommy. 
If it ain't top dollar Tommy. I need you to pull up at my lake house, ASAP. Give me about 30 minutes. Cosmos. What's good with you? My nigga. Good to see you. Goddamn Tommy, man. It's been a long time, brother. How you been? I'm doing great. Hey, Cosmo. Sorry to hear about your father. The Prophet was a great man. See, Tommy, he one of them niggas that used to work for my pops until the Prophet fired him. He always be trying to find a way to get back in, though. Hey, word on the street. You running the family business now, correct? Yeah, for sure. Why, what's up? Uh, Malachi, he owe a mean debt right now. Now, come on, Tommy, man. You know we don't do no debts around here, man. We printing too much money to owe anybody anything, bro. Not a financial debt, but more of a favor. Something he promised me. Man, Tommy, you know, I was happy to see you till you said that little bullshit, man. Look, man, it's like, ever since Pops passed, everybody been acting like he owe him money or they been trying to take money from him and shit. And you know, I ain't going for none of that shit. So <laughs> if I was you, bruh, I'd just charge this shit to the game and let the profit rest, period. All right, Mr. Giovanni, we gonna see. I definitely see you again. Oh, fuck that nigga talking about. Dinner was great, Mr. Giovanni. I really enjoyed everything. Thank you. No problem, but listen, just call me Cosmo. But anytime, Gina. Yes, sir, Cosmo. <laughs> <laughs> so I see a little Kimber Strand compatibility going on here. What's your sign? I'm a Libra. See, I told you I knew it. Oh, really? Yeah. And so what are you? I'm a Gemini. Oh, so you two-faced it. <laughs> nah, but I can be your best friend or your worst nightmare. Hmm. So what's your aim, Cosmo? Like, what exactly do you want from me? And be real. Nothing. But I do desire for you to give me one thing. What? Some pussy? <laughs> I mean, some pussy don't sound too bad right now. <laughs> nah. But seriously, your heart, Gina. Oh. I ain't gonna lie. I just thought you wanted to get in my drawers for a minute. Girl, no, man. I ain't in no rush. I want to make love to your mind first. Psych. Bitch, you think I'm slow? So come to find out, Gina Valentine, her real name was Leslie Matula. And it was Georgie Matula who sent her to me to try to kill me right before he took off to California. So, let me get this straight. You mean to tell me that Maria Ruiz is dead? That's correct. And you killed her? Right. But why? I thought that was your boss. Mr. Giovanni, you a businessman, right? Right. So if a motherfucker don't pay you what they supposed to pay you, what you gonna do about it? I'm gonna get rid of the motherfucker. All right, well then I rest my case. Boy, I tell you, boy, y'all women getting a little bit more gangster than these niggas by the day. That shit is crazy. If I would've knew you was gonna kill Marie, I just would've came to you personally. Which is why I'm here. I'm still willing to do the job, but Mr. Giovanni, I gotta get paid first. Okay, that's fair. So how much I gotta pay you to assassinate Ali Hollywood? 15,000. Cash. Okay. Consider it done. Hello? Hey, Cherie. I need you to get $15,000 cash prepared for Miss Betty on her way out. Thank you. All right, so as you see, it's done. Uh, my assistant will meet you on the way out, but I got a special request. I want you to kill her with this. Now, this is a special gun that's been in the family for years, and it's not your average gun. The bullets be in corners, but it'll definitely get the job done. Well, I won't let you down. 
I hope not. Cosmo Giovanni. Francisco Dunleavy. Have a seat, Cosmo. I appreciate it. So, we're both busy, man. We don't have time for bullshit. So, let's get to it. Sugar Bear called me, said you wanted to settle our differences, correct? Correct. So, what's on your mind? Man, I want to know why the fuck you killed my brother. First of all, don't come in my home making accusations. Second, I didn't kill anyone. Well, your family did. Hey man, where the fuck this bitch at? Go she be over here. Yeah, man. I don't know. I think they on to me. Yeah, Cosmo been calling my phone. Man. Hey, let me call you back. Yeah, get your ass, go. Nino Giovanni. That's your cousin, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, Nino decided he was gonna steal from Paco. And then he killed him. Obviously, we couldn't let this go unpunished. So, that leaves me to your brother, Rallo. Rallo owed me money. So, my family killed him. Tit for tat. Blood for blood. Makes us even, Cosmo. What you mean, my brother owe y'all money? Man, we rich as fuck, homeboy. <laughs> I shot that bitch. Look, Cosmo. What I'm about to tell you, you're not gonna wanna hear, but I need you to listen to me. Rallo made side deals with us. And he was a damn junkie. Not only was he strung out on heroin, but he fell deep in debt with my business. I gave him one last chance. So I set him down. All he had to do was answer one fucking question. Who killed Paco? You know what he tells me? He tells me to go fuck myself. And that's where he fucked up. And that's where you fucked up. You know what, Francisco? I always knew revenge would come. But not like this. Cosmo, we're brothers, man. I didn't pull the trigger. And I'm pretty sure my brother was trying to tell you the same thing. Bitch. Thought she did something. Ugh. Hey Cosmo. The job is done. After the death of Francisco Dunn Livy, I must say, his family took it real hard. Especially Francisco's wife. 
But hey, they knew what the fuck they signed up for when they killed Rollo. How many times did I tell you treat me better? How many times did I say that I was tired of the shit? I'm over it. How many lies did I catch you in and turn my head like it wasn't happening? No, I tried to save us. I know Francisco brother Mozzie Dunn Levy was thinking revenge. I tried to tell you I wasn't happy. After things cooled down, I got a call from Sugar Bell confirming that Two Guns Antonio had my father killed by Ali because he only gave access to me and Frenchie when it came to the gold and the financial cards. So out of jealousy, Two Guns Antonio made plans to steal money from the family. Pops used to always quote the scripture that said, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill, yeah, and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn. A time to blast. Fa, 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 fa. That same night, after I murked Tonio, a war broke out between the Dunn Levy family and the Matula family. What's crazy is a detective even found the murder weapon that killed my brother Rollo. The crazy thing about that as it was traced back to Francisco Dunn Levy. Motherfucker. The police was even collecting a whole bunch of evidence on both families, and they began to work day in and day out, building cases on all the mafia families who was running illegal operations. Man, they started investigating hard and questioning all kind of random people on the streets until they felt like they got all the information that they needed. And shortly after that, they made their move. They started busting everybody one by one from both families. It was wild. <laughs> but what was stressing them out is that they couldn't find anything to pin on the Giovanni elite. See, our family move in silence. And when we do dirt, we cover that shit. But you know, when everything start playing out smooth, it always be that one snitch bitch that want to start running this mile. Fuck this nigga at, man. What's up, fool? God damn, boy, what's up with you, nigga? Shit, boy, I've been turning the goddamn. Got me out here waiting on your ass like a bitch, man. Man, I got some bad news, dog. The money is not there, dog. Renzo, do you hear me? The money is not there. Fuck you mean the money ain't there? Nigga, the spot it was supposed to be in, it ain't there. The fuck you mean, man? You had two weeks to plan this shit. Bro, 
bro, I know, man. The thing is, I ain't talked to, heard from the nigga, or seen Tonio in like three days, man. I don't understand. I talked to the nigga earlier this week, and he said today, at nine o'clock, the money was gonna be there. Man, call that nigga. No, this nigga might not pick up. Cause... Call that nigga right now, nigga. Okay, damn. Fuck you. Man. That nigga shit went straight to voicemail, dog. Straight to voicemail? That's all I've been getting. I tried to call that nigga yesterday. Man, let me see. Can I call this nigga, man? I'm trying to tell you, man. Playing fucking games, man. The nigga ain't gonna answer. Games. Nigga, I don't even play the radio. The fuck? What Man, you I'm doing the about? same shit. Nigga, what did I just tell you? Fuck. I knew that nigga was gonna do that shit. Gonna run off with the money after he handled Malachi. Hold up, nigga, say what? Nah, man, I ain't, I'm just talking out loud, man. Nah, two guns. You said exactly what you wanted to say. So, nigga, you had something to do with my motherfucking uncle getting murdered? Let me explain something to you. I did. Nah, nigga, fuck this. Nah, <sighs> nigga, wasn't no real Giovanni anyway. I know the motherfucking money flying and shit. You gotta count this shit up, bro. But yo, we gotta get the fuck up out of here, bro. Shit, bro. When I get up out of here, I'm going to Miami. Shit, I feel you. What you gonna do, bro? Shit, boy, I might go to Cali. Start me a church. You know that'll make daddy happy. Start you a church? Yeah, man. <laughs> shit. How long are I holding up? Well, she over there in the car. Why she ain't get out? Man, you know she ain't fucking with you ever since we shot Benny. She a nigga you shot Benny. You told me to shoot. Well, that nigga was supposed to be shot. Exactly. <laughs> she be all right. It, it is what it is. is. Tell you. But shit, everything all there, bro. Shit. Hey. You and Lala. Y'all be safe. I already know. And make sure y'all hit me when you touch down. I got you. I'm gonna hit you. All right, bro. Love you. Be safe you. too. Love you too. All right. Oh, hey, bro. And another thing, bro. What's up, bro? Boy, I found out that it was Tony that put Ali up to kill pops, bro. Say what? And you know what else? It was Francisco Dunleavy that killed Rollo. Damn, shit crazy. Yeah, we'll get back to that another time, though. One thing I do know, we gonna be all right, because we bosses. Facts. As a man think of, so is he. I hop out the bed with a blank, the medical food he rents. About to go get me some money, like it's the first of the month. Started keep calling my line, she be on some other shit. Trying to get dick from me, but she married to another nigga. I swear these hoes ain't loyal, but be acting like they bougie. Walking around with fake booties and some ran through coochie. I be like, uh-uh, I'm a pro. She deal with straight rookies. One thing I don't do is spend money on prepaid pussy. I don't do no bragging and boasting. My soul is demand the hustle. They see me with all this motion, but they don't understand my struggle. Count up a bag, run up a bag. Move it in silence, just like a TV pussy. Niggas be stealing my swag. I swear that my haters be watching me. That's why I stay to myself. Cause I don't trust nobody else. I bring the party to me. Could have been like, boy, it's lit over dumb. I feel it all in my body. Get a hustle, ghost, it got me. I don't do no gossip, so the conversation be short and choppy. I keep my foot on a neck, and I keep my ear to the streets. Ride with the Glock and the tick, and if it be smoked, then I'm cooking the beef. Really, I'm looking for peace, but drama be looking for me. 
Playing with your life, it come with a price, so I don't do drama for free. I don't do no bragging and boasting. My soul is demand the hustle. They see me with all this motion, but they don't understand my struggle. Count up a bag, run up a bag, move it in silence, just like a TV pussy. Niggas be stealing my swag, I swear that my haters be watching me. I keep my trust in the Lord, so no, I ain't fearing shit. My spirit get transformed throughout the pyramid. They feel my power and aura. At times I suffer from boredom. That's why I be vibing with this little cookie, then I marinate in the water. Grind with a Glock in the quarter, keeping my eyes on the corner. Gotta stay wise and smarter, cause I gotta provide for my daughter. Success right around the corner, that's why I gotta stay focused. Lil' mama be busting it open, like she just got a promotion. I don't do no bragging and boasting, my soul is demand the hustle. They see me with all this motion, but they don't understand my struggle. Count up a bag, run up a bag, move it in silence, just like a GD pussy. Niggas be stealing my swag, I swear that my haters be watching me.